In this lecture, we will talk about viewshed analysis and solar radiation. Viewshed analysis and solar radiation belong to the class of problems that involve ray tracing. So first, we will talk about line of sight and how to compute viewshed and cumulative viewshed. And then, the second section of this lecture will focus on computation of solar radiation. So what is line of sight? Line of sight analysis identify the points on the terrain surface, surface along a given line that are visible from a given point on this line. This task or this problem is used for visibility analysis, but also for emitter receptor systems design. So, for example, it is used for optimization of location of cell towers, webcams, surveying positions, and other applications where visibility or emitter receptor is uh, important. So, let's look at this figure to see how the problem of line of sight is solved. If we have a given viewing point A and we want to find out whether a point B is visible from the point A, we need to explore the connection or the elevation between the point A and B. That means that we can compute, for example, an angle alpha by computing the, uh, computing the difference in elevation between these two points and the distance. And we can compute this angle for every point that, la uh, that is on the line between A and B. And let's call these points C. And if the angle for any point C that is on this line is greater than the angle for the point A and B, then point B is not visible. Or we can also formulate it in such a way that if any point C along this line is above the line that connects A and B, then B won't be visible. So here is an example where the point B is not visible. So when you start, for example, here, you will see immediately that the point B is not visible because it's on the line above the, because C is above the line A and B. But if you start here, you need to go and explore this entire line until you find point C that is above the line before you can say that point B is not visible. So you can see that the strategies, how you compute uh, this elevation difference and how you track the elevation of point, relative elevation of point C is very important for the efficiency of algorithms. Here is the example where the point B is visible. So again, we have given point A and we want to know whether point B is visible from the point A, and again, we go along this line that connects A and B, and we compare the angle or the elevation, and if for all points C along this line, the elevation or the, con uh, the connecting line AC is below the connecting line AB, then the point B will be visible. And now, how do we use line of sight to compute viewshed? Viewshed is defined as a region that is visible from a given viewing point. And it is often defined by a set of grid cells or set of triangles, depending on whether you are running it on TIN or on raster digital elevation model. And it is computed by applying line-of-sight analysis from the viewing point 
and then you need to compute the line of sight to each cell. So it is quite computationally intensive task. Usually it is restricted by certain given distance uh, that restricts the distance, for example, for the visibility or for the emitter reach. What are the outputs? The outputs are, uh, we can compute different outputs. One of them is binary visibility map. So the cells are real, uh, cells are coded either whether the cell is visible or whether the cell is not, not visible. But we can also compute angle above or below horizontal plane. This is important, for example, if you have webcams and you can change the angle, viewing angle, to know how much you need to change uh, the, the viewing angle to reach certain areas. And we can also compute relative elevation above or under horizontal plane. So again, that can be a useful information. As I said, viewshed can be computed on thin, DEA, uh, thin elevation model or raster uh, digital elevation model. And for long distances, it is important to consider also Earth curvature. So here is an example. This is visibility analysis that we have performed for trying to find a location for webcam that would monitor uh, this watershed. Uh, and we have explored different webcam at, at the same location, but a different uh, uh, height about the surface, 1.75 meters and 6 meters. So here you can see the result uh, at the lower elevation. So there are quite a few areas that are obscured, that are not visible, putting the webcam uh, higher, much higher above the ground, covers almost the entire almost the entire watershed and the result is expressed as an angle where the uh, angle zero is when you are looking directly under viewers feet and 90 degrees is a horizontal view and for most of these you can see only the very close areas you need to look down but for most of the areas the, the angle is very close to 90 degrees. Here is another example now applied to a much larger area using a lower resolution digital elevation model. Uh, uh, this application shows the viewshed from RBC tower and uh, you can see that it, uh, it's, uh, the, the viewshed is indeed very, uh, very large. And uh, this viewshed then can be overlaid with streets, with important points. And you can, uh, you can provide some information about, uh, about the visibility from the top of this tower. For comparison, here is, uh, here is viewshed from Red Hat headquarters here on Centennial uh, campus from the fifth floor. So you can see that it is much, much smaller because of the height above the ground. In spite of the fact that the, the location itself on the ground is, is much higher than, than downtown Raleigh. Now, uh, this was computed from bare ground uh, LIDAR based digital elevation model. So it doesn't take into account uh, neighboring buildings. There would be some impact here, although the, uh, the, the tower is really higher than any, uh, than any other building around it. But uh, what can be interesting is to compare the results with, SR, with the results with SRTM DEM. And I was expecting that because SRTM has, uh, has trees, vegetation on it, that the visibility will be lower, but actually the visibility was higher because some of these valleys, when you uh, put trees here, the elevation is higher. So, so you can see top of the trees here, but you can't see bot bottom of the va valley. So the actual spatial extent of viewshed was larger.
and then for your assignment you will be overlaying this view shed with uh, with land use so so that you can assess how much of forest and how much of developed areas are uh, are uh, within this view shed now uh, very often we need to compute cumulative view shed the the previous two examples were from a single point Cumulative view shed would be from set of points and it's usually done from a set of points, for example, along a road. So you can compute how much you can see when you are traveling along certain path or certain road. Uh, and the, the most common applications are to find a path that has minimum visibility if you want to be hidden or maximum visibility or maximum view shed if it is for example a patrol path so we want to have the best visibility from that line or from that road or uh, you want to optimize distribution of signal sources to achieve the maximum coverage that would be from individual points for example for cell towers or when you are doing surveying certain area and one of the examples uh, was uh, was the project that uh, that uh, looked at limiting the development along the Blue Ridge Parkway to areas that are not visible. So you can compute cumulative view shed along the Blue Ridge Parkway and uh, limit the development on those areas that are directly visible from the road. And the next section will be about solar radiation.